So I'm out doing a maintenance on an XL18i train. It's a heat pump. I got my data tag right here. Model number is a 4TWX8048A. 1000CA, serial number is a 161815G32F. Um, I'm basically going to go over the defrost control board and how to test it, as well as where the locations are of the sensors. So here's my actual defrost control board. Here's my coil temperature sensor for defrost. If you cut this zip tie, it actually will slide out. Uh, a good thing to watch for on this is if there's any rubs, you can see right here it's resting against and I've seen this short out and rub through. Um, the outdoor ambient temperature sensor is right down here. Uh, you can see they plug in outdoor ambient and the coil sensor right here. And then you can kind of see right down here there is test pins to force it into defrost. So you basically just need to short out these pins for a few seconds. I'm going to do it right here with my screwdriver. And now you can instantly hear it initiated defrost. And this is a good way you can tell if you ever come out to a system on a service call and it's a huge ice block or anything like that, you can test it to see if it's operating correctly. If you ever do have your defrost board bad, I would highly recommend doing both the sensors at the same time. It also comes with this really good sheet breakdown of how to test it and what lights mean and basically just a sequence of operation when you're testing it. On the back side, it has some resistances you can ohm and test things out with. Um, also, some more fault code information. All this stuff is very helpful when diagnosing these defrost control boards. So this unit just finished up going through the defrost cycle and should be kicking back on here shortly. So here we go, it just kicked back on out of the defrost cycle. So this is just an easy way to test it and where the sensors are that go with the defrost board.